Hey, Big Fat Simulations here with Airport Madness Pro, still under development. This video is an overview of the user interface that we've created. As you can see, things look a little bit different than they did from Airport Madness 3D. We've got a number of floating panels that give you lots of information. At the top left, you can see that traffic arrival flow rate can be set, weather information can be viewed. Beneath that, you can view gameplay information, such as number of crashes and your safety rating or your efficiency rating. These panels can be moved around, organize them in any fashion that you like, or if you don't like clutter, you can hide these down to the toolbar at the bottom left and you can bring them back later if you want. The radar, that can be moved, enlarged, you can adjust the level of detail, or if you want, you can expand it to a better quality version. Same goes with the air radar, that can be moved around, enlarged, and you can expand it to get better detail. We are considering adding multiple monitor support. On the right side we've got a panel that contains messages from the, a variety of agencies such as the airport manager's office. And on the very right we have all of our flight information organized into arrivals and departures. Each of these white strips represents a particular flight with information such as aircraft type, runway, destination. Viewing this information isn't essential to gameplay. You can hide all of this down to your toolbar you can mount the toolbar vertically. You can even drag it so that it's almost completely off screen so that you can have a 100% view of the airport. Let me tell you a little bit about me now. As you may or may not know, I am a one-man show and I have a full-time job. I'm an air traffic controller. Being able to predict a release date is impossible for me. I know I promised June 1st of 2019 as my release date for Airport Madness Pro and I'm sorry to say that I can't keep that promise. We're far too far behind. I could rush this development and get it done for June for you, but I wouldn't be happy with the product. So I'm going to take my time and do it right. I'm still promising 2019 and at this point it's feeling like early fall 2019. I do appreciate your patience and I am working as quickly as I can to get this done. I think you're going to be happy with the end result. This is our control tower. None of these screens have been enabled yet. I'm considering adding animated human beings into this room, but I'm not sure if that will really add anything to the user experience. So we'll see. I'll be making videos like this every few weeks to keep you informed of how development's coming along. I look forward to announcing a release date to you very soon.